I'm obsessed with making lamps, you guys. I make them all the time. I found this lampshade at a thrift store almost a year ago, and I just knew I had to do something with it, so I bought it. I've never seen one this good a quality before. If anyone knows where you could get more, let me know. I've had these little marbles almost two years. They're from Trophies, and there's a lot of discoloration and scratching and dents, but I don't mind that. I think it's good character, and I like the discoloration. It means it's lived in and more antique looking. The problem I did have was that the holes were slightly too small, so I had to enlarge them a little bit, and this is my setup, making sure I'm good and safe. The other problem I ran into was that there wasn't enough room because I was doing two lights, so I needed room for the splicing. So I got this wood, it's oak from an old palette, and I'm making a little base so that it can sit on it and cutting it out and putting it together. And it looks like this. I think it turned out really well. It's almost done because I still need to stain the wood, but I don't know, maybe I'll do that later. Here you can see the chips and staining in the marble. I thrifted the three bottom parts right here, but I did buy the middle lamp pipe, the candelabra sockets, the cups, and the lights. And of course I also bought the electrical and the sockets, but I did get this finial on a estate sale in the garage. I actually designed this lamp off a of bouillot lamp. It's a French word for a French game. And these are some inspiration. I did it a little more modern. Of course, these were made with actual candles, so as they were burning down, you would move the lampshade down so that fire wasn't right in your eyes. So yeah, as time went by, you know, the candle would go down, you would move your lampshade down. I know this isn't a good replica, but I think I did a good job. I almost forgot to share it on and lit. Oh yeah, and before I get comments about it, the middle part will patina because it is unlacquered brass.